Spain is home to some amazing things. Whether you're seeking adrenaline and thrill or rest and relaxation, Spain has something for everyone. From the whistling island languages to grown men jumping over newborns in a festival, here are 15 of the strangest things found in Spain. Number 15. Whistling Island Of all the Canary Islands, La Gomera is the second smallest. The volcanic active landmass, like all the Canary Islands, considers itself part of Spain and geographically minuscule. It only measures about 13.6 miles long and 15.5 miles wide. You might assume that you can get across the whole thing in a matter of minutes, but you'd be mistaken. The tiny island contains many high mountains and deep gorges. It makes up more than 90% of the island, so trying to get from one point to another is as difficult as a climbing a mountain. It's riddled with countless winding roads and paths. It's an extremely unique landscape. Therefore, the people that claimed it as home were forced to develop an equally as unique communication method, one that could be heard over great distances. Whistle languages, in their varied complexity, exist in as many as 70 places around the globe. In Turkey, for instance, the whistle started 500 years ago during the Ottoman Empire. It then spread to all regions of the Black Sea and Mexico. Much of these noises even made it into modern-day language. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Is it a real-life UFO? Is it some sort of drone? The image in question certainly poses many questions. Whether it's even real is certainly one of them. Even if this thing was a customized drone, you have to admit it's impressive. If it is indeed a UFO, then either the extraterrestrials inside are tiny or it's some sort of drone of the third kind. Wide open and remote areas are typically a hotspot for alien activity, so Spain certainly has that going for it in certain areas of the country. There's plenty of room for them to move about freely without getting snagged on candid camera. If this photo is authentic, then the captain piloting this vessel was not as careful as he should have been. Don't they have some sort of alien scanner thing to search for life forms before landing? Drop us a line in the comments below letting us know what you think of the photo and whether or not things like this exist and occur in the world every day. Don't forget to use the hashtag open discussion to chime in. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Malpique Crosses There are over 40 crosses standing in the ocean at 65 feet below sea level. It isn't some crazy art project or street artist trying to make his work stand out. It's also not some ancient graveyard that got slowly overtaken by the ocean in some dramatic catastrophe either. These crosses were intentionally submerged hundreds of years ago and the story is all but solved. The tale stretches back more than 400 years to 1570 territory even all those years ago, the Canary Islands were under Spanish control for over a century and transformed them into a valuable trading colony. Unfortunately for the Spanish, they weren't thinking about the many pirates who sailed those seas. Needless to say, when the islands of trade were discovered, the pirates were elated. With little resistance, pirates stormed the islands and ravaged the trading colonies tooth and nail. A Portuguese missionary, Inacio de Azevedo, and 39 Jesuit companions ignored the dangerous warning and seas and traveled there anyway. Luck was not on their side, and they were boarded by a crew of French pirates led by Jacques de Sores, who wanted the ship and cargo for himself. He did not, however, want the 40 passengers as tag-along. He disposed of them and tossed them into the sea. The worst part of all is that they were minutes away from the shore and safety but the pirates wanted no loose ends. The murdered were declared martyrs. Number 13. Baby Jumping Festival The babies don't jump. Grown adults jump over babies. If that isn't enough to catch your attention, it's not easily won. You'd be forgiven for being more than curious about the title of this Spanish festival, because even though the country boasts some of the most bizarre festivals in the world, Nothing comes close to this excitement roused by the Baby Jumping Festival held annually in Castillo de Murcia. Anyone who has a new addition to their family can bring their baby along and include them in the festival. It dates back hundreds of years, back to the 1620s. The newborns are placed on the ground swaddled. 
Grown men will then dress as devils and jump over the babies. According to tradition, this act is supposed to cleanse them of all evil doings. The strange influence of grown men dressed as devils leaping over them, on the other hand, goes unquestioned. One slip and those babies are in for some serious injury. According to custom, anyone not blessed from this ritual will spend their lives looking over their shoulder, awaiting bad things to happen. Number 12. Volcano Barbecue This place might be the most unique dining experience in all of Spain. If that doesn't catch your interest, wait until you hear why. If you ever find yourself amongst the volcanic Canary Islands, make sure you stop by local restaurants who use the heat of the volcano to cook their food. No gas, no charcoal, no electricity. All that's needed is the natural heat the volcano is already producing. Dubbed El Diablo Restaurant, it's a local favorite. The building was built around the mouth of a volcano, so easy access to heat was available. Since they couldn't lay down foundations in a location like this, they constructed it on the basalt rock that was already there, just six feet below the restaurant since a whopping pool of lava coming in at an incredible 400 degrees Celsius. The chefs at El Diablo placed their grill racks over a hole carved above the lava and placed their meat directly on the rack. That's it. It could just be the most natural way of cooking on Earth. If you can cook it, you can bet you can find it roasted on a volcano here. Aside from fantastic food, the restaurant offers some of the best views you can get of the islands. Number 11. Cursed Village The village of Trasmos attracts thousands of tourists to its borders not because of the gorgeous landscape, divine food, or incredible architecture. Though it has all of those things, it's for its troubled past of witchcraft that the town has turning into a cash cow. Witches and magic are a far-flung notion across the globe. There isn't a nation where you haven't heard a tale of a witch or two or foul play with magic. That's to say, people from far and wide are drawn to the lure and mysticism surrounding the witch theory. Thanks to an official excommunicated status placed on them by the church, it's considered a haunting and cursed village. Those that live there, however, say the excommunication was the best thing that could have happened to them. It really played into the witchcraft history there. There's only 47 residents, but thousands upon thousands descend onto the village each year to get a taste of the curse. After all, any place the church would excommunicate would have to be rife with adventure, right? At least that's the story they're trying to build, and it's all working just fine for those 47 people. They essentially turn the village and the 47 residents into a business with employees. Number 10. Chapel in a Volcano This crazy temple that was placed in the middle of a volcano in Spain has been around since the Middle Ages, but its origins still elude experts to this day. The original chapel's first recorded mention occurred in 1403 when the chapel's rector included in its will. What we do know is that Santa Pao Village culture counselor is responsible for maintaining the chapel. They say the church sits mostly unused, except for maybe once a year during Alpec, a religious event that combines a ceremony, food, and music. The event coincides with the Feast of St. Margaret of Antioch on July 20th. During this one period a year, thousands hike the 25-minute trail, which happens to be up and down the volcano, to partake in the festivities. The current remodeling of the chapel occurred in 1865, which replaced the original structure that miraculously survived a volcanic eruption. Maybe there really is something to this crazy location. Number 9. Deadly Fountain Found in Barcelona, the famous Calder's Mercury Fountain is considered one of the deadliest works of art in existence today. Donated to the foundation by the artist, it's kept behind a glass casing to protect observers from getting too close and dousing themselves with the highly toxic substance mercury. The substance gives the structure its most unique trait. Mercury, otherwise known as quicksilver, is the only metal on Earth which exists in liquid form at normal temperatures. This magical little element has fascinated civilizations across the globe for centuries thanks to its unique and mystical properties. It was widely misunderstood for quite some time. Experts say a 9th century Egyptian ruler once requested to be rocked to sleep as he lay on air cushions staying afloat by a bath of mercury beneath. Is it obvious how the leader perished? The first ruler of China died as a result of drinking a mixture of mercury and jade, which his counselors reported would give him eternal life. It didn't. You can see how deadly mercury is, so the fact that it was used in the art requires particular cautions both in its creation and observation. 
Number 8. Smurf Village One of the smallest villages located in the Val de Glanal, called Huscar, is considered a real-life Smurf village. It's the world's first Smurf town. Until it was transformed and reclassified as a Smurf town, it was a weekend destination place for rural tourists that enjoyed hiking and outdoor activities. Where the weekend always showed increased activity before, the weekdays were slow. Today, however, about 250 tourists per day make their way to check out this blue town in all its smurfiness. Every single building was painted blue. Houses, the church, town hall, even the cemetery were transformed to embrace the premiere of the Sony Pictures film, The Smurfs. Once the filming and promotion had passed, the residents of the small town decided to keep the buildings painted blue and carry on as if the village of the Smurfs was real. Its uniqueness quickly started attracting tourists that allowed for greater income among the people who lived there. Since its creation, eight new businesses have been created. Among them are guest houses as well as new public services and parking. You know you've made it big when you have to demolish vast areas of land for a parking lot. Number 7. La Tomatina Festival If slipping and sliding your way down a street covered in food is your thing, then the La Tomatina Festival is for you. The world-renowned tomato fight is for kicks alone. You won't find any crazy ritual or ceremony taking place here. It's simply a giant food fight for entertainment purposes. It allows the community to go have fun together in a safe and conductive manner. Then, when the whole thing is done, everyone helps clean up the mess. The majority of this duty lies to dedicated staff, but many volunteers do their part to ensure the festivities continue. The story of how it came about is funny. It all started with a festival of giants and big-headed figures paraded through the town square in 1945. One participant's big head fell off as a result of rambunctious crowds. The person was so enraged that they started hitting everything in their path. A market stall of vegetables and fruit fell victim to the fury of the enraged crowd, and people started to throw food at one another until the law enforcement ended the food battle. From that day forward, La Tomatina Festival was what people wanted. Number 6. Living Under a Rock Have you ever used the phrase, are you living under a rock, to point out how out of the know someone is for a particular subject? Apparently, you need to watch what you say because people actually do live under rocks in this Spanish town. 3,000 residents find themselves in the shadow of a massive rock. People first settled in the area for practical purposes. Living in caves before houses was one of the best forms of protections for humans. The stunning natural caves of Setenil de la Bodega revealed to be ideal living quarters for humans because rather than needing to construct entire houses, all they needed to build was the face. They carved amazing homes out of this rock. It's believed people have been residing here since pre-written history. Number 5. Monkey Christ For centuries, the Spanish town of Borja was best known for its incredible wines and impressive 16th century town hall. All that changed when a simple act of religious devotion was transmogrified into an object of ridicule, a meme, and eventually a startling success at bringing in new tourists. A parishioner noticed that an already peeling and faded painting on the church's wall was under attack by the weather and leak. In an effort to save it from being destroyed altogether, they decided to act. The famed face of Christ was originally painted almost a century earlier and would disappear from the face of the planet for good. Without being able to bear the painting's loss, they started work, applying thick blocks of color atop the famous artwork. She planned to retrace the divine painting and ended up with what we now call the Monkey Christ for its uncanny resemblance to a monkey. Now, if you go to the church, you'd find a memorabilia shop stocked with coffee cups, t-shirts, keychains, you name it. All of them with the now iconic Monkey Christ printed on them. Number 4. Scariest Hike in the World This almost 5-mile trail located near Malaga was once considered the most dangerous in the world. Today, the entire hike path has been carefully and safely renovated. Although it stands much safer than it did originally, one thing hasn't changed. You still get an amazing and unique experience of strolling along hanging walkways hanging over 30 feet up. Those that have braved the walk and conquered the challenge say the sights are unforgettable and must be seen to be believed. Dubbed the Caminito del Rey route, its dazzling trek from beginning to end for which you'd find yourself running through cliffs, canyons, and eventually a large, beautiful valley. It crosses one of Spain's most beautiful natural sites, a huge gorge carved near a river and walls standing over 300 feet high. 
The area is also home to a plethora of plant and animal species you won't find anywhere else. If you're lucky, you might even be able to spot rare highland birds like Egyptian vultures, griffin vultures, or golden eagles. Number 3. Belmez Faces The odd case of the infamous Belmez Faces remains one of the most widely documented and baffling paranormal events to occur of late. Seriously, you have to see this to believe it. Later. The small mountain village of Belmez de la Moraleda was home to a few small farming families. In 1971, a Mrs. Maria Gomez Pereira reported having discovered a dark stain randomly appearing on her kitchen floor. Thinking it was just a leak or oil stain, she tried to clean it up to no avail. Nothing had been spilled, and there was no reason for the stain, so the family was extremely confused. A few days later, her home would be known around the globe as the House of Faces, and for good reason. Over a period of seven days, the so-called stain transformed into a crystal clear image of a human face. A face, mind you, that refused to disappear or be swept away. The family was no stranger to supernatural belief, with Maria Pereira herself claiming to be a spirit medium. Because of this, residents blamed her for the sudden appearance and grew fearsome of her. Number 2. Salamanca Astronaut there is little more bewildering and infuriating to archaeologists and historians than old hoaxes that, themselves, have melded themselves into history itself. Pranksters have long been part of human society. One of the most notable of such comes to us in the form of crystal skulls, which were discovered deep in the jungles of Belize in the 1920s. When they were revealed, it was reported they were 3,600-year-old Mayan artifacts. In actuality, they were carved in the 1840s far after the Mayans had perished from the earth. There is the Voynich Manuscript, which sports an undecipherable text written between the 1300s and 1400s. The text is a compilation of gibberish meant to either discredit an infamous Jesuit priest or possibly to gain fame and fortune for the unknown author. With this in mind, let's go to the Cathedral of Salamanca. If you look closely at the intricate carvings that adorn the outside of the building, you might even spot a modern-day astronaut. How in the world did this ancient building portray a technology of humans yet to be invented? The cathedral was originally constructed between 1513 and 1733. Throughout the many years in between then and now, it underwent tons of restoration work, including one notable time in 1992. Construction workers, artists, and renovators worked together to ensure the process was done right, and they were allowed to add something as a sort of signature. Turns out this modern-day astronaut was just that. The 1992 restoration saw a dozen workers in the process. After consulting with the staff, artist Geronimo Garcia was allowed to add his modern-day astronaut to the cathedral facade. He also included a dragon eating ice cream, a lynx, a bull, a stork, a rabbit, and a crayfish, to name a few. So, keep your eyes peeled. Number 1. The Crystal Cubes Pyrite is a magical mineral formation that naturally forms itself into cubed crystal structures. These otherworldly minerals are enough to evoke all sort of emotion of sci-fi and fantasy. The more cuboidal formations that are present, the more valuable they are, so you can just imagine what these babies might cost. These formations are almost extraterrestrial in their mathematical perfection. It seems improbable, but Mother Nature herself cooked up these amazing little elements of nature. The cubes are simply a product of easily explainable geological events that occur all over the globe. Since pyrite only has a single iron atom bonded to two sulfur atoms, this gives it incredible malleability to form in all manner of odd shapes and designs. The little-known mineral is an essential commercial source for extracting both iron and sulfur, so the likes of these formations are by companies all the time. While some just want the iron, others produce sulfuric acid and other sulfur-based chemicals used for making paper and other industrial applications. You can see all the crazy applications this mineral can be used for. Spain is home to some marvelous places and things to see. As this list demonstrates and hardly encapsulates all, there are tons of things to do and see here for any type of person. From the adrenaline junkie to the relaxer, Spain is an amazing place to be. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.